Hey guys, what is up and I welcome each and every one of you to a relatively quick new League of Legends video. So for this one, I wanted to go on the training tool and I want to show you guys even some clips just to show you how actually... I guess stupid or overpowered or broken or any clickbait you can think of, the new Galio is. Right now, the new Galio, if you don't already, already know, he's actually got changed from being like focused on tankiness, you know, just being essentially a tank, um, to pretty much a mid lane mate. Just, I mean, that's, that's, that, that's kind of the TLDR. That's the very quick way to say it. He does an insane amount of damage, mainly his Q ability, because if you read it right now, I have just over 1,000 AP. Now, you look at my build. Now, actually, if I actually want something like maybe Roa, uh, Luden's Echo and Morello's here in these three slots. I think I actually would have had more AP with the with the Elixir. But this is regardless, over a thousand AP. That's pretty cool. So check out his Q. Fires two wind blasts that deal that much damage. Over just over a thousand damage. Okay, cool. But the second part, when the wind blasts meet, they combine into a giant tornado, right? Of course, as we know, the giant tornado boom right there. That deals 70. Plus 623 damage. Okay, I'm just, that's not bad. All right, you know, that's okay. But, you know, it is over 1.5 seconds. Okay. Plus 94% of the enemy's maximum health. 94% of the enemy's maximum health. Not even current health. Maximum health. 94% of the maximum health. What? 94% of the... Check it out. Just, just check it out. Look at this. 10,000 damage. That just did 10,000 damage to this guy. Why the hell does this do 94% of the enemy's maximum HP? That is completely busted. And that is just, it's just broken, period. You literally just took a champion who's literally a tank and who is still fairly tanky. His W is still tanky. His ultimate is still, you know, relatively um, a, a tanky kind of, you know, ability more or less. But like, what the hell is this? I mean, even his, like, his W passive gives him some tankiness, right? Against magic damage by 53 is pretty good. But why why does a champion that's essentially a tank or supposed to be a tank that just got, you know, some buffs to AP and, you know, make him a bit more, I guess, convincing, if you will, to, you know, build AP on and play him in the mid lane. Why does he go from being, you know, still pretty decent damage and being pretty tanky to just doing this? Like, that doesn't make any sense, right? That's just, come on. What? That's one ability. Be most champions can't even do that in the full rotation of abilities. This guy does that in literally one ability right now granted you know of course you might be thinking oh well red you know this guy has 10,000 hp this dummy this does percent hp damage yeah okay fine but keep in mind that it's 94 percent of the maximum health right so it's like it'll do essentially the same percentage damage more or less to almost anything at the same at the end of the day right you know give or take of course now you might be wondering oh okay well you know what if it's on a squishy champion well here's a clip from valkyrie i'll show you guys very quickly check this out now you know obviously shout outs to valkyrie and his uh stream and stuff i'll link it down below but you guys need to check this out this is kind of ridiculous look at the damage he does to this vagar watch this you see this vagar he's right there chilling on galio sitting at 500 ap you know not bad not bad 25 uh, 16 stacks is pretty good watch this oh my god like what he he literally he quite literally one shot the vagar with a q Tell me that's not broken. Like, obviously, you know, shout out to Valkyrie. I'll link it down below. You guys can check it out for yourselves and all that stuff. But you, you can't tell me that that's not just completely busted. He literally one shot a champion with his Q. Not even the full duration of his Q. That was like the initial damage plus like just a tiny, tiny percentage of this in the second part of it. Not even the full duration of it. I could teleport. What am I doing? Um, and yeah, and the Vega just died instantly. Like, literally just flat out exploded. And keep in mind, this is supposed to be a tanky champion. So, I, I was actually kind of curious, I'm like, I was thinking, you know what, how, how would this be against a Baron, you know, what can we do against the Baron, let's check it out, I'm just actually kind of curious. You know what, actually, wait, 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 I, I, let me, uh, rebind the Elixir here. Just to make sure we're fully powered up. Alright, check it out. Let me make sure that it's recording, everything's cool, alright, let's, let's see, what, what can we do here? I mean, don't forget, I'm literally just using a Q. All I'm using. Right? This is just the Q ability. Like, there's no one, no one else, there's nothing else. It's just literally using the Q. And I'm doing quite a bit of damage every single Q. Quite a bit of damage. So it's like... I mean, that doesn't look as cool as this, honestly. This looks even cooler, in my opinion. This, this just looks absolutely beyond broken. That was 10,000 damage, actually. Okay, now it's hitting. Now it's doing 10,000 damage because I have the Baron buff. Imagine if you have some Fire Dragons. Imagine if you have an Elder Dragon on top of it. 
that's that's broken, man. I don't know what Rado's thinking, but they need to do something about this. This this is this is kind of ridiculous. This is just that. Uh, this is just weird. This doesn't even make sense. So there you guys have it. I just you know a relatively quick video. I want to show you guys uh, the new Galio and uh, AP form and what you can really do and the damage he actually has in his kit. Might want to ban it out. Might want to play it. Now, if you guys want to know very quickly, the build. Uh, whenever playing this, you know, obviously this isn't the normal build. You know, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what you know you usually want to run. Uh, when playing this, so you obviously run that. You, know, you you can probably run this too. It's not a bad choice. Sell both of these. You know, you can usually go. Let's say just sword boost for the sake of you know the video. For the first item, I recommend going either Roa or Proto Belt. You can go Morale Nomicon if you have a you know a fairly tanky team already, and uh, you don't have to be like in the front line as much tanking as much. Uh, you can go Morellos, but I think Proto Belt honestly probably is uh, the best option. So Proto Belt there is fantastic. Followed by uh, the Boots of Choice into a Leandris. Or the or just the hunting guys, uh, Void Staff and Rabadons are both pretty optimal and core. I would say uh, this if you're snowballing, but eventually you probably sell it. Or if you're not snowballing anymore, or not at all, or whatever, you can maybe honestly opt out for the Lich Bane, which is fantastic as it synergizes with the kit. You know, the E auto attack with the passive Lich Bane proc with the Q and everything, a lot of damage. Or you can sell the Lich Bane, or rather not even get the Lich Bane, and you can go ahead and get for the Luden's Echo. That's also a pretty decent option. But for the first item, it's either Hexec, Protobelt, Roa, or Morellos. One of the three, and you most likely won't want to get the other two. Um, and also, whenever playing against Gal, you might be wondering, how do you even beat this? Like, what? Are, you have to face this mid lane right now. What do you do? How do you play against this? You play Zed, Talon, or Jace. You play an AD mid. That's what you do. That's how you play. Lucian even, maybe. I don't know. Even though Lucian's kind of bad right now. Play an AD mid, and you counter him. Because, I mean, think about it. He did get nerfed when it comes to actually reducing AD damage. You can see there, the first cast. 50% of that amount damage reduction from physical damage, right? Only 50%. Not the full amount. So, he is a lot weaker now when it comes to dealing with physical champions. Uh, physical damage champions. So, if you're playing, you know, an earliest game assassin or champion like Jace, Zed, Talon, that can do a lot of damage early to mid... You know, the Galar can have a tough time. It'll be more tough than if you're playing a mage, essentially, right? Even Kassadin is not a bad option, but... I don't know, there you guys have it. I want to show you guys the new Galio, give you guys the build, give you guys, you know, a little bit of an idea on how to counter him, but I honestly just recommend banning him out if you don't get first pick. And yeah, let me know what you think about it down below, guys, and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.